around two in the morning. Rest is getting harder. Hello, welcome Devil Sniper here, and today I'm bringing you episode number 20 of our career mode with Colchester United. We're going to get a crack on straight away with the Everton game after what was a fantastic busy transfer market. I'm so gutted Jimenez didn't come to the club, but... It is what it is, unfortunately. So as normal, it is legendary. I have knocked it down to four minutes, just knocked a minute off it. Um, it's overcast, it's Goodison Park, and the team we'll be running with will be having a debut for Balassi. So if I'm honest with myself, you know, stretching to uh, 90,000 was a lot of money for Jimenez, and then I tried to sneak you of trying to get 100,000 a week for him. And he still didn't want it. I will admit, it, it was a big kick in the teeth. And the only reason I can put it down that he turned us down was the fact, you know, we are just Cole United. If Perhaps if we were Manchester United or, you know, definitely if we were West Ham or if we were Liverpool or Arsenal or Manchester City or one of the teams realistically in the top five of the Premier League, he probably would have said yes at £80,000, but we would have had to have upped that. I firmly believe probably to about £110,000, £120,000 a week, and I really don't want a player earning that sort of money, as much as it would be really, really, really nice to have him. And I will be going back in the summer transfer window for him. And being that that will be the end season on career mode for FIFA 15, I probably will give in to his wage demands and end up paying him a ridiculous amount of money. It'll, we'll just have to see, but I, I really, really, really want him. But new team, look at that. In goal is Butland making his debut. Then we've got Longy Lachelles, Benedetti, Mingzi, Cookie, uh, Gilby, Shalaba making his debut. Yannick Bolassi with Gabs and Rose on the bench. Mansa Cole, Nelson, Annabelle, AJ, Chester and Mon Kerr. Wow, Bolassi's going to be making his debut. I'm hoping him in the camera is going to be absolutely sensational. I really, really am. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully it'll pan out nicely and we'll pick up three points against Everton who are languishing near the bottom of the table. I'm happy we've got the Super Duo up top. Obviously I could... Um, Monker, when Monker comes back, Cookie will be stepping down to um, to the second team. Oh, I played Longy. Longy feels so... Oh, hold on. Gabs, can you dink? Oh my God, what a dink. Balassi, Balassi, Balassi. Oh, dude, some damage with him. Just stand him up, just stand him up. Don't have to commit. Oh, my days. Oh, into Balassi. Oh, the spin. Oh, my God, can he play him through? Yes, managed to get the ball through. Longy's got... Oh, I thought he had the body strength. Come on, Longy. Balassi's going to be too much fun. I could have done the fake shots. I could have done so much there. Don't win the ball. I think I'm going to get a book in. Oh, they're turning me inside out. Get across. Oh, Butland with his first big save for the club. Oh, they destroyed me. That's beautiful. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No one wants to celebrate with you, you mutt. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I couldn't work the ball out of his feet. Everton is so annoying. So the first half does conclude, and we did concede that. Really poor goal right at the death. But the half-time score is Everton 1, Cole U 0. So I didn't blink. I didn't make any substitutions. And deep in the back of my mind, I don't think Balassi is going to have the same sort of impact as Deli Alley for the simple fact Deli Alley was, was a revelation from long shots. You know, it was so nice to have a long shot with him. I don't know if Balassi is going to be the same. Going to have to find out. I nearly conceded a second there, but Butler was in the right place at the right time. Just knock this one out short. Short-ish corner. Knock it in short. They're going to go for the shot. It's opened up. Fuck. It's 2-0. Fuck. And that all came about by me doing a pointless skill move in a pointless part of the pitch. Allowing them too much time and space in my own box considering how many fucking men I've got in there. That's frustrating. I've been playing so much career mode lately and on legendary to get as much practice in as possible to make sure that I can do things and... Jordan Rhodes, get in there, son. We've pulled one back. We're not dead. We're not out of it. The resilience is still there. Beautiful cross by Gabs. That is delightful. Straight onto the nugget, the golden nugget of Jordan Rhodes. Just thinks if, if other things had panned out, that could have been Raul Jimenez. The question is, would it have nestled like it did with Jordan Rhodes? Oh, I've committed with Cookie there. It's all right. Cookie knew what was going to happen. Didn't get around the corner. Oh my god, I've got Jordan in here. Come on, Jordan. Get in there. 2-2. 75th minute. 
We're turning this around. We're turning this around. That's a beautiful goal. Well crafted. Oh my days. Come on, boys. The ball from Gabs is amazing. The runs that Jordan Rhodes make on a regular basis are amazing. And I think Tim Howard's made a mistake. Yeah, it hits him and it goes in. Oh dear. Howard and Butlin have both made mistakes for goals. 2-2. Two -two. I'll take that. I'll take that right now. After being 2-0 down, a 2-2 two -two draw would be fantastic. But I want that third goal. I believe in that third goal. I really do. Everton keeping the ball around our box. 90 minutes. Someone's going to have a shot in a minute. This is scary. This is scary. That's it. Let's get the counter-attack going. Ah, referee blows the full-time whistle. 2-2 two -two in the end. After being 2-0 down, I've got to say, I will take that all day long. Could have been a lot worse. It could have probably should have been 3 or 4 by the time I scored. Debut-wise, Butland wasn't spectacular because he had a sloppy goal. And Yannick didn't get involved as much as I hoped. But it's Everton 2, Cole U 2. It's time for Stoke City at the Western Home Stadium. Keeping it to 4 minutes. Legendary. Going with our uh, youth slash resi side. So we are at the Western Home Stadium. It's an absolutely beautiful day. We will be taking on Stoke City. The table's still looking impressive. We're still in fifth. Stoke in ninth. We're on 40 points. A bit of a gap uh, obviously became between us and Arsenal. Obviously the impact of Deli Alley has been phenomenal for Arsenal already. And yes, I am still very bitter about that. The blue and white of Colchester, but he's not. Anyway, the team lineup is Mansa, Winter, Nelson, Navas, Arida, Cookie, Aldair, Massey, Super Sammy, Coley, Annabelle. On the bench, Butland, Long, Gilby, Rhodes, Gabs, Benedetti, and Shalaba. Oh, you're in you're wearing Oh, why is he wearing that shitty kit? Uh Bentley in Oh fuck. Bentley in goal for Stoke. Bardsley Hoof, Shawcross. Um and Zonzi Walters Quinn. Altered door. Who else? Where's Noble? Oh yeah, Noble staring me right in the face. Number 30. Looking for Noble. I was looking on the bench, but I saw him shaking the hand. Mark Noble's wearing a number 30. I can't believe he's playing for them. I really can't. I'm so pissed. I really am. So what's the betting? Bentley's going to be the superhero and save Stoke. And Stoke are going to come away from with three points. And we're going to lose. All because I gave Bentley to Stoke City. Plus a huge wadge of cash. And all I got was Butland. Oh, Coley's making a run. I didn't get the ball right. Damn it. Oh, get into him. Get into him. I don't need him unleashing. And Zonzi's got a decent little shot on him. Noble into Lincoln there. Oof. In that last period, just knocking the ball into him. He's just playing literally one touch pass, one touch pass. Oh, Cockney G. Oh my days. What a finish. What a bloody finish. Ouch. That hurts. Nice ball inside. Time, space. Oh, that is sublime. I've, I can't moan. I cannot moan or anything about that. Damn it. And it causes me problems. That's the half-time whistle. I've got to say it's been an absolute class show by Mark Noble. Dominating it for Stoke City. But what a goal by Altidore. What a goal. Can't get over it. It's a fantastic goal. So half-time it is. Cole you nil. Stoke City won. Making a couple of half-time substitutions. Gilby's coming on. Cookie is looking rather tired. I didn't realise when I started the game he was actually a bit tired. Hadn't fully recovered. He was looking extremely tired. And uh, Annabelle up top really, really just not was not getting involved in the game. Wasn't getting a look in. Two weeks. I decided to bring on uh, Jordan Rhodes and pair him with Coley and hope that uh, that combo, that combo will um, dig me out a point from somewhere. Because at this moment we're, we're not doing too well. We're not doing too well. Oh, great save by Mansa. And I've gifted the ball away again. I've really lost all concentration. How's it offside? Oh, my fucking God. I chased at the wrong player. What an absolute mug mistake. I thought it was offside, so I kept running with the same player. And then I changed when it was too late. Oh, my days. I've inflicted my own pain on myself. And now they're going to get a corner. No, nope, that's it. The referee has blown the full-time whistle. Stoke celebrating like they've won the fucking league. Game finishes. Cole you nil. Stoke shitty too. So the board have come to me. This is fantastic. The last match was not one we wanted to see. 
end in defeat and we are concerned it may have negatively affected your stock amongst the supporters. The board wants to reassure you that we are we are behind you, but also like to see you make more notice, noticeable changes when approaching important matches. Coley wants to talk about his wages. I just want to show people something right now. We'll have a quick look. No, we won't. We won't have a look at the league table. What we will do, we'll go to the office. We'll do Coley. Uh, we'll offer him a new contract. Uh, where is Coley? Otherwise, he's gonna, this is going to work two ways. Free, why does he want a new one? This All he's going to do is say, I don't want to stay. I guarantee he's going to say, I don't want to freaking stay. He'll get his 15 grand. I'll make him crucial. He'll get his one year. That's fine. He asked for it. All it's going to do is just make me want to sell him. Now, we're going to go to objectives. And now, the objective is avoid relegation and reach round 32 of a cup. We reach round 16. And we'll just have a look at the league table. Obviously, it's, it was a very important match. Stoker in eighth position. And we are still in fifth position. Now, if I'm not mistaken... We are 13 points above Liverpool and Swansea, who are in 17th and 16th. We're in 5th fucking position. We're in a European slot. The fans would be still going absolutely mental. We've only lost 5 fucking games. We've, we've lost less than Spurs, who are top of the table. We've lost the same amount as Chelsea and Arsenal. I, I just don't understand it. 10 wins, 10 draws. Those 10 draws could have been 10 fucking losses. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it at all. I, I feel really, really insulted, if I'm honest. I feel that this game, at times, is a complete and utter piss take. And I can't believe the board would even would even utter that bullshit. Anyway, we are going to leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, episode. Hopefully you're looking forward to... Uh, to the next episode which is of course we're going to start off against Hull we'll have a quick look at the calendar just see what we have upcoming so in the next episode we'll be taking on Hull and Swansea moving into March um, and we have Chelsea Newcastle Palace Tottenham then we have April which is going to be West Ham West Brom Man uh, Manchester United and Queen's Park Rangers and then we'll finish off with one bumper episode with Liverpool Sunderland and Aston Villa and then we'll be looking to start season number two, which is season number five. Anyway, until next time, I will catch you later. Hated to love it, I'm on the way to the summit, and all the haters are waiting to see the day that I plummet. They better stay in their place because the paper is coming, and when I make it, the bank is getting the payment of nothing. Now I'm destined to make it big, I think by now I made that evident, but I'm grinding till they know Calvin Coolidge is the rapper and not the...